Welcome back. I'm here on our 67 Mustang project. We're doing a lot of fabrication today, but it's time to get into hubs. Now, these are very simple to put together. I'm going to show you how. The first thing I want to do is talk about wheel bearings. Use a good quality wheel bearing like this one from Timken. You're going to get better tolerances, better steel. Timken's made in Canton, Ohio, and they've been around for 110 years. They're a name you can trust, so make sure you use a good quality one like that. Now, first thing we did was we packed our rear bearing. These are tapered bearings. They got a tapered seat inside, and then there's a seal. Take a little seal installation tool, pop, little pop with a hammer, get it seated nice. That's really simple. Okay, flip it over. Now the spindle, went ahead and cleaned it really good. Little emery cloth or scotch brite, something like that. Use some solvent, get it good and clean, and then put a small, a little bit of layer of grease on there, and you're ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this on. It's a good start. Now the front, I've already packed that bearing. A lot of times what people do, put some grease on. We've got a, a special uh, racing grease here we're gonna use. That's also from Timken. Put some on, push it in until it goes all the way through the bearing. So we got the bearing packed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get stalled. You can see our little tapered seat in here. Put your bearing in. All right. Now there's a washer. Okay, here's the nut. After you torque it down to 50 pounds, back it out one turn, then torque back down to 10 pounds. Now back it out a quarter turn, put your lock nut on. Last thing to do, go ahead and bend our cotter pin in, get that solid. I wouldn't say no. last thing to do. No, I thought that was it. I've got I'm a done. few more little pieces for you. You look pretty comfortable. 